Remember that old chant, sticks and stones can break my bones, but words will never hurt me? It doesn't take a scientist to know that words cut deeply and often leave lifelong scars. In fact, our emotions and behaviors come directly from our belief system, which was formed by words we heard and experiences we've had. If a child hears, you're stupid, you've ruined my life, I didn't even want you in the first place, and has experienced abuse and neglect, then of course their emotions are going to be negative, anger, depression, frustration. What kind of behaviors come from those emotions? Not the ones that we want to see. Adults can make the mistake of focusing only on changing a child's bad behavior when what a child also really needs is someone to invest life-giving words and safe, nurturing experiences. Any safe adult can do this. A teacher, a neighbor, or an after-school volunteer. When you find all your interactions with a child are dominated by correcting behavior, step back and work on building a healthy belief system too. We need to connect before we can truly correct. How do we build this new belief system? We give children new words and new experiences. New words like, you're important to me. I'm really proud of you. I believe in you and you can do it. New experiences like, I'll listen to you. I'll show up for you. I'll give you my full attention. I'll keep my promises. Remember, the expression of healthy emotions and the positive behaviors that you're hoping for will come as you build a new and healthy belief system in a child. Not out of mere obedience to authority, but from a foundation of safety and trust.